So Sony are entering Web3 with Sonium, which will be an Ethereum-based layer two. There is a bit of a promo video showing in the background here they've just released, which is pretty cool to be fair, showing there's gonna be technical support and ecosystem funds and direct collaborations with Sony and their whole kind of umbrella within this layer two solution. So this ties together Startail Labs and Sonium here. So what is Startail Labs? Startail Labs is essentially A-Star, A-Star Network, the Polkadot parachain, which is now its own ZK EVM environments. This is own L1. Now back in June, there was a merger between A-Star and Startail. Pretty entangled to be fair, the CEO of A-Star Network, Sota Wanatabi, also being the CEO of Startail, essentially they merged resources. So when you see Startail now, you can think of A-Star Network here. So this from the Startail website, startail.com, connecting you to Web3, Sonium, Ethereum at Layer 2 solution, A-Star, Layer 1 blockchain. It's almost the same as kind of consensus for Ethereum with their kind of overarching handle over everything ETH. Similar thing here, Startail, A-Star, Sonium. So Sonium have released their website here, sonium.org, GM, which stands for Go Mainstream, apparently. So there's not a lot on here as of yet, but the testnet has gone live today. So you can bridge from the Sepalia Ethereum testnet into their actual testnet environments, which is known as Minato. They have a new program called Sonium Spark, essentially an incubation that is about to be set up here. There's not a whole heap of details out of yet, but this is Sony's first major move into Web3 here, backed by Japan, the Japanese government, it would seem, and in collaboration with a team who have been there and done it all in crypto with A Star Network. So this from their Twitter thread, Sonium Minato is a public blockchain testnet accessible to all developers and creators interested in building applications. So within this, it goes into detail around how this ETH compatible environment, because it's a layer two built using the OP stack, utilizing Ethereum for its security. And what they wanna do is build a top of their L2 environment, similar to what Base has done with a lot of products that Sony is gonna kind of steer. So what kind of things could this be? Well, we know that one thing that these guys will have bags and bags of is distribution. When you think of Sony, what springs to mind? Electronics, obviously the PlayStation as well. There's quite a big game release coming in 2025 with GTA. And so this as an ecosystem is probably gonna be a really interesting one that has a bit of an upper hand over a lot of other ecosystems that don't have a direct kind of go to market. We're yet to see how deep Sony are gonna push this. Will they start to deploy these blockchain solutions and applications across their range of devices? Maybe think about it if you bought a Sony smart TV, what if it's got maybe a DeX attached to it or more likely a social application or something more creative, I would imagine. But there's a huge possibility of explorations that could occur with this, which is kind of interesting because we haven't seen new flavors really come into market. A lot of the L2 launches, et cetera, there's been tons of them, have seemed a bit cash grabby. But this one, I think, will go a lot deeper. And if you think about Japan more broadly, Sony is one of their biggest companies. There is documentation in here suggesting Toyota may also be onboarded. As I'll show you in just a second, the Japanese government are somewhat having their fingers in pies here. And if you think about Japan as well, their demographics are so poor, they need a win across AI and crypto here. So this is where I think there's gonna be a huge push. Now you can see Sony and Spark in collaboration with Sony Group, Sony Music, Sony Pictures. So a whole different host of avenues that things could go down. And this will be about this Spark program actually kicking off an actual ecosystem and nurturing talent to build on top of here. You can see they've also got VCs already raring to go and fund some new projects, Bitcraft, Delphi, Hashkey, just to name a few. And they've also got infrastructure partners as well. So in terms of do you need some on-ramps, off-ramps, oracles? Do you wanna try and utilize account abstraction? partners are in here that will help with that kind of stuff and of course auditors as well so what you're seeing is the birth of a new ecosystem here which has 
all the various puzzle pieces ready to go and they're essentially looking for teams to come and plug and play and get involved. The blockchain has been live, this testnet here, for like 24 hours, I believe. 820,000 blocks processed so far, 21,000 wallets, 48,000 transactions. You can check out the stats and stuff for yourself, but it's a testnet. There's not too much to go into detail as of yet. With the Spark program, mentorship, infrastructure connections, strategic partnerships and funding essentially is what they're bringing to the table here. Those were the main highlights and they'll be looking to invest up to 100K per team to come and build on top of Sonium. If you do want to bridge over to Sonium, I will leave a link to the bridge down below. You need Sepalia Testnet ETH and then you can just bridge it simply into Minato Testnet. Just Google Sepalia Faucet and you will have an array of different ways to get some of that. You get like 0 0.1 or 0 0.5 ETH. I use Alchemy personally as I have an account with them previously. And then you would just, you just tap in how much you want to bridge over. So Testnet ETH there, not real ETH, just Testnet. Review deposit, pump it on over. And you can see I transacted that over into Minotau a bit earlier. If we just change this to Minotau to connect to the RPC, etc. It's gonna come up with the details on your MetaMask and then confirm, approve, and you'll be good to go on that network. If you find yourself over there, currently there's not a lot to do. You may just wanna bridge in and out a few times to get some transactions racked up. But I do believe from like tomorrow, you're gonna to start to see some testnet applications go live as there is a big conference ongoing today and they're gonna to start to drop stuff around Minato. Price action wise on ASTAR, the token, and this is the only kind of proxy for Sonium at this moment in time, because A, we don't know the tokenomics of Sonium. Will it have its own governance token? Will they leverage ASTAR? We really don't know. The only things I could find about it was they will unify liquidity applications from ASTAR across the Sonium network as well, which is pretty cool. But Will the ASTAR token have governance rights over Sonium? These are questions we don't know the answer to as of yet, but this is the only place to make a proxy bet on this as for now. So makes sense in my mind to interact with the testnet and monitor this price action quite closely. Since the bottom, the big liquidation event of like four cents in August, pumped up to eight cents. Of course, we've had some terrible price action here and it's dumped down, but that's seemingly getting bought up a bit here. But Nothing to write home about in terms of the price action on ASTAR at this moment. But as I say, it is the proxy at this moment for Sony and their ventures into Ethereum L2. Into partnerships here, Velodrome Finance have been welcoming GM with Sonium. So saying, look, welcome to the Optimism Super Stack or whatever it's called, the Super Chain. Um, so Velodrome will do really well off the back of this as well. Optimism generally looks like one of the best L2 plays out there, but Sonium joining in with this stack, interesting. We then have Sota, a social app here called Ye, which he's saying will be onboarded straight away, 8 million existing users, and this will come onto Sonium and integrate the ASTAR token as well. And then in terms of Japan here, I thought this was interesting. There was a conference today, WebEx Asia. I think there's like a gate stage and then this bit flyer stage you can see a sota down here ceo of sonium a star star tail fingers in all the pies who was speaking before him fumio kishida the japan prime minister and ken saito the ministry of economy so he is the finance guy in japan as well so super interesting to see that they are sharing a stage with notable dignitaries in Japanese politics. It leads me to believe that the Sonium L2 is not going to be one of these joke launches that we've seen from other L2s out there. This is going to be some serious stuff with some weight coming behind it as well. So definitely one to have on the radar and to keep up to date with what the heck's going on. I would highly suggest just following Sota, getting his notifications on. And we'll see what develops over these coming days and weeks here with Sonium and what opportunities present to maybe farm a potential airdrop or just keep up to date with the ASTAR token and see if there's going to be a major follow through with this move into Web3 by Japan and by one of their biggest companies, Sony. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one. Peace.